In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to create a calendar in Smartsheet. But before I do so, I do just want to quickly mention something that I think you may be interested in. And that is, I do have a Smartsheet Fundamentals training course. And that course is all about getting you up to scratch with Smartsheet in the least amount of time possible. It should just make your entire learning experience much more enjoyable and seamless. So if you do want to check that out, there will be a link in the description. But with that said, let's start creating a calendar in Smartsheet. So the first thing that you, you need to do is to create a new sheet and you want to be in the grid view. Now note, you can't do this the other way around. You can't build out your calendar in the calendar view. And you might even be on this video because of this. So what you want to do is in the grid view, you want to set up your columns. So this is my primary column and I've just set up a couple of different tasks. We then have a start and end date. Now for creating a calendar, we could get away with just having a start date. We could also get away with just having an end date, but I like to have both and I'm going to show you why that's the case in a minute. So with these in place, let us now um, look at the calendar view. So we've got the three tasks and just for your information, just to quickly touch upon this, I've put, I've set these so that this, um, this task is on Monday, the 4th of March, 2024. This one's on the Wednesday on the 6th and this one is on the 8th. They all finish on the same day that they start. Okay. So all you need to then do is click this drop down and then click calendar view. And you'll notice straight away that each of the tasks have been added to the calendar, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, we have our calendar created, but there's a couple of things that we can do from here. Did you know you can actually start to manipulate your tasks based on this view? For instance, at the moment, the identify YouTube video task is only taking place on the Monday. So what we can do is we can right click and drag it across. And if I was to go back to the grid view, you'll notice that the end date has been pushed back a day because it's gonna take two days to do so. If we had a duration column, that would go from one to two. So that's what's really, really good. Once you set up your calendar, you can start to manipulate it accordingly. Now, here's another good thing to notice. When you first create your calendar view, um, you will get this particular interface, okay? So if you ever needed to go back to it, you can select this cog here, the calendar settings cog. Now, at this point, you have a couple of options. The first is that you can display only dates in this column. So as I, as I kind of mentioned earlier, you could just have just a start date or just an end date in your sheet. Alternatively, you can display date ranges using multiple dates. So this is our start date and this is the end date. You can also click, uh, click a couple of different checkboxes. We can display summary tasks and we can also display reminders if we wanted to. So that's what we can do. We can press OK. And as you'll see, our calendar has been updated. A couple of other things. We can also filter on this view. We can also set up some conditional formatting. And there is also the ability to publish um, to Outlook, Apple, or another calendar. And there's also, yeah, push the Google Calendar here and publish and overlay the Google Calendar as well. So a couple of additional advanced options from this screen. So I hope this video is useful. If it was, do let me know by hitting the like button. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. And if you do want to check out my fundamentals course, there will be a link in the description for that too. So with that said, hope you have an excellent day.